Damn, you know he ain't working, so what the hell you think he was doing? <sighs> He's cheating on you or something, or what? There was a question on there that was pertaining to that he was talking to guys, and <clears throat> the guy that did the lie detector test said that he showed strong deception. And I just don't know. Oh my God. I can't believe that. I mean, I can, but like, I don't think any man in this world should have to go take a lie detector test, you know, for a relationship to last. Like, there should be some kind of trust. Like, they're married now. So, what the hell are they doing, you know? Is he going behind their back? Like, what? why would you do that to somebody? Well, I told you a long time ago you made the wrong choice, but. Yeah. Well, I just... So, like, what's going on for real, though? Like, I don't know. I just feel stupid. I feel like, um, I don't know. I've just been going through so much stuff with him. I just, I don't know what to do. You know, I miss you, and I think you should meet me sometime. I don't know, man. Like, even you know, Julie, she don't really want us talking and shit, really. I feel like Julie is my second chance at, at finding somebody that, that loved, that soulmate, that connection. My last relationship was a little bit rough. And that's the way Julie makes me feel. I thought that I might not ever get that again. The way I see it, really, you know, the past is the past. Yeah. Keep it civil, you know? Okay, yeah. Cutting out Lacey out of my life makes my life so much better, so much less stressful. I've always done drugs and alcohol. She's always been something to, you know, point me back in that direction. But, um... <laughs> She's so hard to quit, you know? I'll be there for you if it ever gets physical or whatever, you got a problem like that, but. Great. I gotta go, man, so. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'll talk to you later.